Hey, 360 Electricians, something for you Milwaukee lovers. If you're an electrician like me, you love Milwaukee tools. I got them all over the place. Little secret I want to teach you. So I've got a bunch of guys that have Milwaukee. We got a bunch of people that always use the M18. And what's happening is sometimes they're just going bad and they are under warranty. Well, Milwaukee's got this little dirty little secret I want to tell you. If you send your tool in and that serial number right there has been rubbed off, and what happens a lot of times, we're going into studs, we're going into tight places, that sticker is going to get destroyed. So I've got a little tip for you that you must do on all Milwaukee tools. Hey, this will count for DeWalt and Makita and everything else too. Let me show you. All right, so you're just going to lay your tool down. You're going to go get some clear packing tape. I don't care what it is. We're going to cut a piece and we're going to cover it over this and then we're going to cut it out. So you want to get a piece that's big enough that you can put right over that sticker. Nice and neat, almost like a cell phone cover, right? For your glass or your screen. You want to push that down, get all the bubbles out of it that you can. Nice and neat. All right. And then we're going to take our Milwaukee box knife. Thank you, Milwaukee, because we're doing this because we need to warn you this later on. And you are basically going to follow the line. Okay. Get a nice, sharp, brand new blade. Go a little further. Who cares if you scratch the tool a little bit? And then follow that and go further. That way, when you peel this thing off, you are going to be able to peel it off nice and neat. And I'll show you what that looks like. Okay. I kind of like all these angles that Milwaukee gives us on their sticker. And again, we're protecting that serial number right there. All right. And then just peel it off. And you can see just like a cell phone cover that that thing should peel off nice and neat. It's got some small areas. That's okay. We're just going to take that X-Acto or not the X-Acto. You could use an X-Acto knife as well. I just happen to use this and go ahead and peel it off. There it goes. You have a perfect protection for your serial number. And if you ever have a warranty, you can send that in. Guys, this is where experience counts in my business. My secretary always sends these tools in. A couple of them came back because the serial numbers were gone. And trust me, you want to do it to every single tool you have. I mean, even if it's an awkward label, get it done. It's going to save you when you need it the most. Now on this bandsaw, we need to open up that little screw hole so that we can adjust the tracking. So be careful when you're covering up labels. On this one, it just happens to be covering up that screw hole. But with our razor tip here, with our box cutter, we can easily get in there and cut a nice little hole so we can still get in there. Okay, we still want to protect the serial number no matter what. And there you go. Now I've got access to that hole and then we're going to go ahead and cut the rest of it right up to the line of the sticker. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you got something out of this. Really quickly, would you take the time and do me a favor as a brother and sister in the trade and hit subscribe. We're really trying to build this channel so we can bring you more information like the video you just saw. Don't forget, I do coaching. Hit the links below and also don't forget Electrical Contractors, the ultimate guide to electrical marketing for electrical contractors is down below at our website, www dot the 360 electrician.com where you are going to level up in your business by purchasing the marketing plan that i've used for the past 12 years to make a seven figure business love you we'll see you on the next one